Welcome everyone, I'm Manindar Singh Sambi. I lead cloud networking business here at Google Cloud. Today we're gonna to talk about autonomous network operations. The journey to autonomous networks is one of the most critical transformations that is happening in the telecommunication industry today. And it's a journey that no one can take it alone. And that's why having partnerships is super critical. And I'm truly honored, we've been working with Nokia for a while, and today I'm joined with two leaders from Nokia, Vishal Singh, SVP, for Cloud and Network, and Cal Day, who is SVP and Head of Products and Engineering. Welcome Vishal, and welcome Cal. Thanks for having us, Maninder, it's a pleasure. Great to be here, thanks for having us. Now, we always talk about autonomous network operations, and Vishal, you and I have chatted, but as a sales leader, you're kind of in the front line talking to many of these executives on a daily basis. Yeah. What are the biggest transformation challenges that you see from the operators? And what are the core business drivers behind this massive push for autonomy? You know, the business drivers, Melinder, has been really as the telcos invested in 5G, for them to figure out how do they monetize 5G. On the other hand, you know, CapEx and OpEx pressures have continued to increase. They have to continue to invest in the network because the data traffic continues to grow. To deliver a consistent experience, they have to continue to invest in the network. So their CapEx, OpEx challenges continue to increase. Their monetization challenges are still here. And therefore, how do we make network more efficient? But now, the idea of autonomous network and the initiative with TMF as well, where we are looking at how do we take our customers on a journey from level one to level five, has become the center stage of all conversation. And the, the experience that we bring on the table from Nokia in terms of understanding the network, understanding the network data, understanding the entire, uh, what do you call, the life cycle of managing the network, together with yourselves, who understand the platform, the cloud and the artificial intelligence aspects of it, the native capabilities of Google Cloud. I think it's a, it's a phenomenal opportunity for us to work together. Wow, that's pretty interesting. I mean, the way we look at it, <clears throat> auto automation, like you said, has been a talk for the last decade. Yeah. Zero touch provisioning, yeah. having controllers to manage it, yeah. but that's not sufficient to actually bring down cost, especially on the OPEX side. Yeah. Now, in order for us to move from automation to autonomy, it's very critical on how customers start thinking about lowering their OPEX. Now, this is really important for many of our viewers as well as uh, many of the audiences where they're looking at cloud and they're looking at partners like Nokia to bring down overall OPEX, thereby driving innovation that can drive incremental revenue for them and profitability. And Cal, you've been in this industry, you've been driving a lot of thought leadership on your product side. How is Nokia actually approaching this? Right, uh, thanks, Manander. Um... <clears throat> Let's see, where do we start? Um, look, you know, I, I would say the, uh, the direct answer to your question, um, our North Star focus um, has been for a while, but really going forward for the next appreciable two to three years is providing the software stack that catalyzes the possibility of autonomy in the network. We have a mental model that we express as sense, think, and act, right? The sensing is uh, pervasive universal observability of what is going on and introducing fabric that can monitor every network element, every device, uh, every piece of user equipment, UEs that we have access to, and ingesting that into a common data fabric that we can run uh, analytics against, and therefore um, with now leveraging modern AI, generative AI and other, um, we are able to introduce the concept of the network actually being able to think. So sensing what is going on, being able to process that and introduce real intelligence into it, reasoning if you like. And then the last mile of course is acting on that signal. And again, with the now rapidly evolving things that are happening around generative AI, agentic AI, um, it's taking advantage of that and all of that adds up to um, a reduction and eventually, perhaps not an elimination, but a reduction of dependency on human toil and human effort, which is prone to making mistakes, which is extremely OPEX intensive for our operators who are really looking to go from uh, a deployed workforce of thousands to being able to do um, a similar level, and perhaps even more effectively at machine speed with far fewer you know, amount of human toil and you know, human beings in the loop who can then move on to hopefully you know, the higher order bit and delivering value in different kinds of ways. So that's been our approach, and as you touched on very correctly, Vishal touched on this as well, um, the real focus is 
um, much faster time to value, um, much, much uh, you know, faster ability to deploy the network, turn the lights on, get value out of it, and therefore to lower total cost of ownership. So Cal, that is great explanation. I think we are, we are in this journey together. Uh, automation is a word of the past. Everyone wants to move to autonomy. And I think you guys, as Nokia, understand what packet code means. Mm -hmm. uh, deep expertise on all the data that is received and what's really relevant for running the network. Right. And pairing it up and partnering with Google, mm -hmm. we bring in the BigQuery spanner capabilities, the cloud capabilities, the artificial intelligence capabilities with Vertex AI, with Gemini models, and the ability to build AI agents. They right. can provide full autonomy. Mm -hmm. With this autonomous network operation framework, we are super excited, you and I, because we are product, we engineering, this is great technology, we believe it's going to bring lots and lots of excitement to our CSPs. But in the end, Vishal, you are the one who has to actually go front end all of this to our customers. Now that you know what we are building and the partnership that's coming together, if you can just leave and share your thoughts in terms of the AM suite from Nokia, powered by capabilities and components that Google Cloud is providing, how can our joint customers leverage the value and what value will they see? You know, it is, um, I heard both of you talk, correct? And it's really, I would say, infectious in that sense. Correct? It's really, I feel that you guys are so excited. And I actually see that excitement in the field too. Excitement in the sales team, excitement with the customers, the opportunity is now. But let me give an example, a very, very, ex uh, you know, a relevant example from next door. You've, got, you've seen Waymo, which is like driving around San Francisco, Pretty much many times you see them between two red lights or two traffic lights, more Waymo's than human driven car. It's an example of how automation or autonomous cars have come to life. And now, you know, when you look at that car, that car, we exactly know what's happening with that car because we understand through all the sensors and everything, you know, environment that car is operating in. We know that car is secure, not only for the passenger inside the car, but also for the pedestrians and the traffic. And only when you know what's happening in the car or around the car in their environment, and when you know it is secure by design, then you can actually drive automation. And automation leading to autonomous networks, as we call it. So that's a great example of what our CSPs actually can do with their network and bring it to life. Now with the autonomous network fabric, we can actually bring it all together. We can actually stitch that experience in form of a data that comes from different network functions. So I think Nokia and Google coming together, first of all, gives customers an amazing set of confidence that these are companies which have got a lot of experience and a lot of technology with depth in you know, our ability to execute uh, and execute not for now, but for long term. This helps our customers to really think about it in a way in which they can say, we work with you guys, you help me you know, make the network autonomous like Waymo, and I will go focus on customer experience. I'll focus on delivering new products and services, and therefore I'll be able to drive new revenue streams, which I have been struggling with all my investment in 4, 5G, and obviously 6G is around the corner. So this is great, I mean, I'm very excited. It's a great opportunity for us, for both of us, but a great opportunity for service providers to actually leapfrog from where they are today in terms of you know, leveraging artificial intelligence and all the cloud capabilities and the capability that we bring to the table through our experience and domain knowledge of autonomous networks. Wow, I love it. I love your passion, Vishal. Um, the way I look at it is you're making, collectively you're making telecom industry exciting. Yep. Everyone wants to work on AI, everyone wants to do something with AI. Yep. But I really enjoyed your example of Waymo. Self-operating, self-healing infrastructure. Giving our joint customers the ability to actually focus on new revenue drivers as opposed to just running the network. I think it's very, very powerful on how the telecommunication providers can now offer new set of services for their customers, okay. drive revenue while lowering cost. And we are on this journey together. We're really excited about the partnership with Nokia here. And Vishal and Cal, thank you very much for being here. And we're really looking for a much more innovations to come in the future. This is all ours, Manander. Looking forward. Excited. Can't wait. Thank you. Thank you.